Afterburner Climax. <laughs> climax. Okay, so um, this is a, this is an arcade remake. Yeah, of, tell me, tell me of about the old, this. Of the old Afterburner games. It's really cool. Um, let me get this volume down on the TV just a little bit. Even though our microphone is designed not to record from that angle, it'd be best if we didn't have to yell over it. But anyway, um, Afterburn Climax is a really cool game. It's based off the uh, Afterburner arcade game from 86. 86? Jeez. Yeah. Testing the audio quality. Just testing it out. Yeah, testing. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around to the side and got the blue light. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this side too. Yeah. Which side is it? Testing. Is it this side without the blue light? Or is it uh, this side with the blue light? Yeah, testing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna launch a nuclear device. Oh my god, so much we're so invested in this already. <laughs> So <laughs> you did an aileron roll. You, you see down, uh, you see down the bottom left the climax meter. Yes. You fill that up by shooting a bunch of dudes. It just looks rainbow. And you can, you can, <laughs> you can release it. And I'll show you in a minute. There's a part in a minute. No, it looks like your star power. Well, no, no, not exactly. See all those dudes? Yes. Bam. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my! You just Tony Stark the shit. <laughs> Isn't that the raddest? Yeah. When you slow down time and lock into everything, and when you let go, it uh, <coughs> climaxes right all over them. Right. <laughs> X option. Oh. Yeah, it's um. Oh crap! There's a missile there. This yes. is not as easy to play in standard definition, but it, uh. It, oh oh yeah. The uh the our TV. No, not our TV. It's I could totally play it in HD if I had a better capture card. Oh oh, you mean yeah that? Okay, sorry. Um, At least, uh, but in the arcade, um, the original game was revolutionary because it moved, and it was one of the first ones that did that. And the new one, Afterburn Climax, this one, moves as well. They actually have one in a local Chuck E. Cheese up here, and I've looked like a super creep several times trying to get to play it. Because <laughs> they'll just walk oh. into Chuck E. Cheese by myself. Oh, oh no. But it's always broken. Oh, what a, what a dick. I actually got to talk to the to the arcade repair guy there, and he's huh. like, "Yeah, uh, this job sucks, and Ooh. Sega stuff is really hard to fix." Ooh, that's and I was like, "Tell me about it, dude." That is no bueno. Oh yeah, how's your um? Are you, are you, oh yeah, you probably haven't had a look at your machines in a while, have you? Oh no, I, I see them from time to time. I was recording yeah, but I mean, with, some with, episodes with, with the ability or intent to repair them because they're probably in storage, right? Uh, well, the ones that work are in Murphy's. Crap! <laughs> um, yes, they are. But anyway. Go ahead. Well done. Um, yeah, like, I really want to get Enduro Racers bored out and clean all the feeties and everything. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it's not going to happen for a while. I'm supposed to move out, like, this week. Ah, month. Um, month. Good, this month. Good, good. I'm proud of you, man. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Aurora Borealis. Ow. <laughs> Ouch, a missile. <laughs> the beauty of nature and V2 cruise missiles. Crap. <laughs> that is one thing I really like about this game versus the old one is that if you the get scenery? hit by a... What? Oh, sorry. No, the, I was talking about the very pretty scenery. This oh, one yeah, it is beautiful. Despite the fact this is an arcade game. It's a beautiful game. Yeah. It, it's the same team that um, made, like... Outrun online arcade and everything. Oh. But you were saying about the... Fuck, what were you saying? I was, <laughs> I was talking about how I'm supposed to move out, but, um, like, I did find some roommates at my new job, but, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, they no. keep They keep hey. being like, we found this super cute apartment. I'm like, how many times do I have to tell you that I'm not going to live in an apartment? <laughs> I have far too many things. Crap! And now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Now I can't even you, land my jet in an apartment. It costs extra. <laughs> They're like, you could get a garage. And I'm like, or we could just rent a house. They're like, it's too expensive. And I'm like, first of all, Do you think the, the apartment place. has the helipad? <laughs> my top cat doesn't even have VTOL capability. I mean, some of them have helipads, but it's it's difficult to find in our area. <laughs> I like these. Like, if you shoot this big one in the middle, it kills all the ones outside it. <laughs> <laughs> This is like the essential game where it like, it like, bam, 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 the game. Have you seen uh, 
Terminator 2? I think that's actually the only one I've seen from start to finish. You remember when um, Schwarzenegger shows up in the mall and they're playing games in the arcade? Vaguely. John Connor's playing the original Afterburner. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, you know what I, um... I think I texted you this a while ago. I was actually sitting through a bit of the Avengers, and I saw that part you... That the movie one, is so boring. Yeah, I know. I saw that one part you thought was funny. It was like, that man's playing Gal Galaga. Oh, yeah, that part was good. He thought he wouldn't notice. He thought, thought nobody would notice. <laughs> but, but we did. It is pretty funny, man. That part was pretty funny. But that movie was just so overdone, and like... I've, oh, I'm, I mean, I'm not a fan of a lot of new releases, namely, like, a lot of his new superhero movies. I'm... In this level, you're supposed to follow oh. this stealth bomber, Jesus. Um, stealth and, bomber, Jesus. And you're it's my new album. <laughs> he was the transformer that was rejected. <laughs> they didn't like that he was a Decepticon. <laughs> Sorry, stealth bomber, Jesus. Stealth, stealth bomber, they just they renamed him Shockwave in the American series. <laughs> stealth bomber, Jesus. You have to go really fast to keep up with the stealth bomber. But yeah, yeah. I lost visual on him because I crashed into a mountain. I rarely oh, so ever complete it, that goal. Does it make the and it makes the fog and just it takes you to the next level? Yeah, like it's it. You're oh, okay. in the next level. Like really cool. he'll show up and you have to continue chasing him. You have to engage him with your guns because he's a stealth bomber and your missiles won't lock on to him because he's a stealth bomber. Right. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> stealth bomber Jesus. I was half listening. He avoided you. It's the the immaculate. Uh, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll just climax all over this instead of being <laughs> religious. You didn't know when you joined the Air Force it would be that uh, non-secular. <laughs> Stealth Bomber Jesus leads your platoon. <laughs> it's a whole different thing. Uh, I don't think it... I don't think it would be called a platoon, would it? I don't know. I'd... I'm very much divorced from the military. You know what's a fun fun thing I've noticed? Divorcing like, the military. All, <laughs> yes. No, fun thing. All throughout high school, you know what I noticed? I've known one friend whose like, family or someone has influenced them in the military, and each one of them is thoroughly convinced that the branch they're associated with is better than all the others. You know what's <laughs> it's sad? Hilarious. Is nobody has any, like, um... Idea no what one, they do? No one, <laughs> <laughs> no one has any pride... For the Coast Guard. Uh, who? The Coast Guard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know. I know who the Coast Guard is. I just feel like the Coast Guard gets no Un credit. Underrepresented. Yeah, they they do a job. They probably do several oh, crap. jobs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're on. Um, they're not helping me out any right now. I saw them. In they're the just like no running in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw the Coast Guard in like Bad Boys too. <laughs> They're orange. <laughs> no, no. With um, with Will Smith and um. Oh, M Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence was the other Coast Guard. Yeah. <laughs> no, the no, no, no. They were actually they were uh, SWAT team members. Um, they end up having to go into I think Cuba. I want to say Cuba. They oh crap! A, they were chasing a drug cartel, and the Coast Guard was kind of. Yeah. You know what's really funny? The Coast Guard was actually kind of a minor role in the film. <laughs> I feel like the Coast... I feel like the Coast Guard's in it. Oh, man. This is where stuff gets nuts. Check this out. Oh, Coast Guard. No, oh, jets, jets can't fly it. Oh, my lasers. <laughs> oh, my God. Testing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't actually... I'm not playing right now, but... So... Um, Stressful. It it looked like it's a lot easier to turn than I'm guessing it actually is. It's um I'm I'm doing a pretty decent job. No no, no I'm not saying it like it's hard or easy. I'm saying like I didn't I don't know how sensitive like the plane is is for turning. It's not too bad. It's um it's it's this game is certainly easier than the original Afterburners. Because hey, well, I mean, it's not designed to eat your quarters at the same speed the plane is going. <laughs> I'm sure he's saying, like, geyser copy, but every time he says that, I hear, gays are coming. <laughs> I'm like, are they especially good fighter pilots or something? I mean, should I be, should I be wary? Oh, that's... Uh, climax. <laughs> God, I'm pretty sure you just clipped through a mountain. 
Oh boy. So you gotta like speed up and slow down. The faster you go and the more stuff you kill, the quicker your climax meter fills up. And do you choose your speed? Oh yeah. Okay. That's yeah, good. right trigger will speed you up, left trigger will slow you down. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Especially when you're flying, you know, indoors between lasers. Yeah. I mean, oh. I'm actually doing a pretty decent job here. I might even beat the game. Did I mean spoilers. I'm not doing, I'm not doing a decent job like <laughs> Skill wise, as you saw all those grades. But there. Like oh, this is great. You're, you're, oh, jeez. Yeah. You're surviving. Okay, that's what you meant. Yeah, but like here, you remember having to fly through all those buildings? Um, no. Well, you see all these spotlights? Oh, you mean we're back here? We've been here before? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. How would I remember it? You you just watched me do a different level where I th flew indoors. Oh, buildings. okay. Oh. Crap. They've seen me. I see. Yeah, like you're not supposed to... You mean the spotlights or the lasers? No, these these spotlights are like, if they see you, they'll start firing on you. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's no bueno. Yeah, if you can get through through it without being seen by the spotlights, it's nuts. But it's just a really interesting you game You unlock mechanic. secret character. <laughs> you get the pilot... F-12 <laughs> Raptor Lu 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 uh, Lucifer. <laughs> Sworn enemy piloted to, to by Stealth Bomber Jesus. Piloted by Danny Trejo. Exclusively Danny Trejo. <laughs> Dude, if Danny Trejo was in the Bible, I'd probably be religious. <laughs> and then um, the 11th apostle said, Machete, don't tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm almost at the last level. Oh, we're over a city. Oh yeah, this is where we're not supposed to let the nuke hit, right? No, um... But like we're we're going to get zebra and zebra is the who guy. Who the hell is zebra? It mentioned it right at the beginning. We weren't listening because of reasons, but um. Yeah, because I'm sure this game has lots of like thrilling plot behind it. I mean, it's it's pretty <laughs> thrilling, but not because of the plot. Yeah, okay. But anyway, who's um, the high octane scriptwriter behind this mystery? Uh, and two. Uh, let's do nuclear arsenal. Oh, you, did we just choose a route? Did we just? You get to yeah, you get to choose a route. Okay. Um, oh boy. <laughs> Did you hear me? It's like, now we're really underpaid. Oh my god, he's correct. <laughs> oh, these doors are closing so slowly. Oh crap. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I have another continue after this too. Yeah, okay. But I have to avoid all of these surfaces and flak and lasers. Oh my god, are you kidding me with this? No, it's cool. You just, you just Shut straight, up, it is not right cool. altitude. <laughs> Wait until you see all of the missiles and things that are about to come. Oh my god, there's a building there. I'm so close, dude. If I beat this, it's going to be an, a fantastic episode. That's the first actual runway I've seen this entire game. <laughs> what is Planes? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, it's a good movie. You know, Planes 2, uh, the I sequel. haven't seen it. I'm... Planes 2, the <laughs> sequel. <laughs> no, I was actually, there's, I was just... I did it! I beat the game. Don't leave me hanging, that's, dude. That's it? Yeah, I did. I beat the game. That, oh. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, all right. Hey, the first success of Brett's play. What, what kind of like? This is a milestone. Mad sequence of like pretty vision that I just watch. That's that's an AM two game, dude. Who who is Zebra? They mentioned him in the beginning. He was gonna. Who's the X? What's their option? <laughs> Look, it's an action arcade game. It doesn't need storyline. I. Just, I hate when people... Zebra takes the ability to resort to war in the future. Instead of becoming a nuclear dictator, Zebra would resorted to producing children's bubblegum that come with free tattoos and the flavor dies before you get it out of the wrap. After Burner 2, more bubbles. Fruit Stripe. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you, ending scene... I, and a visual novel. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, it's like other Sega games, you know? Like House of the Dead, you have branching paths based on who you save, and then you get a different ending based on, like, how good you did. So what happened to Zebra-san? Play. Zebra-san Koros! Oh, do you think BP is going to sue us? I don't think so. <laughs> Do you think BP will care? Do you think the entire company of British Petroleum is watching Brett's play? Do you, do you think 
you think they'll subscribe? See, what you don't know is what I just did was I, is I sunk one of their tankers. <laughs> <laughs> BP sponsors Afterburner. Just to get, oh. Afterburner Climax, the sinking of the Exxon Valdez. <laughs> oh. Plot twist, gas prices go up. How many places I could have put the remote for this baby? Testing the audio quality, just testing it out. Yeah, testing. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around to the side and got the blue light. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this side too. Yeah. Which side is it? Testing. Is it this side without the blue light, or is it uh, this side with the blue light? Yeah, testing. Okay.